Hey guys, it's Veron from Seeker of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a another cover drawing designing type of thing, but this is actually an entire project that I'm not actually done yet as recording. So I am currently making my own handmade 2021 planner and this came about simply because I was thinking, oh, even though <laughs> I have nothing to plan. Something might start happening in 2021 or I might become more active with things. So I should buy a planner. I should get planners online. And then I happened to look towards my shelf where all of my art materials are. And I remember that I had a ton of craft notebooks that I haven't really been using. I bought them originally as sketchbooks, but I haven't really finished the sketchbook I'm working on at all. So they're just sitting there. And I thought, hey, why would I spend money if I can just make my own planner? And I can make it to the way I want it to be. I'm not constrained by anything, really. So if I don't want any like mental health things in it, then it's fine. If I don't want a financial tracker in it, it's fine because it's my own thing. And my current planner, which is from Belle de Jo, Belle de, jo Belle de Sure. Um, I, can, I think I think it's a famous plan, planner brand here. Um, it's actually pretty good. I, I got the 2021 Essentials one and it's just basically the dates and uh, pretty much just the week and it's pretty much open inside. Uh, I, I was about to rebuy that but since I can just make my own, I can just, you know, copy my old layout and make my own. It's what I thought. Turns out this much more involved than I originally thought it would be. So doing the cover itself is no problem. I really enjoy making covers for notebooks or making custom stuff like this. I've done it several times in the past and I don't really have a playlist for it, but it's somewhere there in my video archive. So I, I enjoy doing the covers. What I didn't expect was um like doing the lining of all of the inside, like making sure. So what I did is that inside this um a month or at the start of the month, there's gonna be the calendar for the month. So from one to thirty one or whatever, and then inside it's per week, just like what I did in my old planner. The difference is because there's no dots or grids to help me, and. I'm pretty much just relying on my ruler and my hopefully ability to draw straight lines. It's a lot more involved and harder than I thought. It I originally had this cover done a week or if I'm from recording it's like a week ago. So technically I had the video done, but I was hoping that I would have the actual insights done by now. Turns out that isn't the case because pretty much what's happening is that I work on one month a day and <laughs> 12 months and I'm still not yet done. I'm currently at uh, October, I think. Or I'm at November already. I'm at October right now. So I'm hoping I can knock out October, November, December today, do whatever else things I want inside of it and then finally be done with it. It's taken so long and I really didn't expect this. Or rather, I overestimated my ability to just get into the zone of a repetitive task, I suppose. Usually I'm pretty good with that. As long as I'm listening or watching videos or a podcast or something, I can just keep on doing something over and over again. I guess the difference is because the I have to mind the dates for one, I have to make sure that the line, the measurements are all correct always, and then at the every four-ish pages, I have to switch up the measurements because it's gonna be the month, the month overview page. So it's a bit more tiring than what I gave it credit for, I guess. So for now, in this video, you will just be seeing the cover. Uh, I didn't really show a sneak peek, I just kind of leafed through it in the end, but um, you might see a little bit of the inside. I, I might just post it on Twitter or Instagram if ever I get it finished by the time I post this. 
I'll just show the insides there, but it's really nothing fancy. It's just handwritten, hand-lined stuff. So, when I started this thing, I originally wanted to go with maybe something more pinkish or yellowish in theme. So maybe like uh, cherry blossom trees or something cute and pink, like roses, flowers, whatever. Um, I don't know why I didn't continue that. I, I guess I just leaned or my brain just automatically switched to the color blue when I started doing it. Uh, so I, I ended up with something that I actually did want to make before, which is an ocean kind of drawing. And that was the original plan when I did when I painted my sketchbook. So it's somewhere again, well, I guess I should link it somewhere here. But when I painted on my sketchbook, the cover for it, I originally wanted to do an ocean drawing. But since I wasn't that used to acrylics anymore and how the texture of the, of the canvas worked, uh, I ended up drawing mountains instead. Same color scheme, still blue with a little bit of green, but I ended up with a completely opposite <laughs> thing. So my sketchbook has mountains, and I finally get to do the ocean thing here on my planner. And at first I just planned to do it like just, you know, straight ocean, just put the label on top of a 2021 plan planner and then just have an ocean drawing for the rest of it. But I felt that looked too plain or interesting, so I started adding lines here, which I admit aren't very straight, or they're not very, they are straight, but they're not very well measured, like they, they're not perpendicular properly, but yeah, I started adding those like diamond lattice looking lines. And I thought, hey, it looks kind of nice. It looks like a window. So might as well continue that, even though it's not perfect. And by the time that I noticed, it's too late. I already lined it. So I already filled it in. So eh, it's okay. And it does add a little bit of interest to the drawing, since it's not just the ocean on it. It does look like a window. At least to me, that's how I look, I look at it. So uh, once again, I am using a lot of blues. My poor blue colored pencils, they are so used up. I am adding a little bit of yellow on the bottom to create that look that it fades out into the sand, which is the natural craft paper texture or craft paper color rather. So it does slowly fade into green somewhere at the, at the front or towards the viewer at the bottom and it becomes more bluish and darker in the bottom. And yes, I am using colored pencils. I've been drawing a lot of digital stuff lately, so uh, it, just, it just felt fun. And I felt like it would be the most... How do I put this? I feel like watercolor, if I used watercolor, it would either... It might, you know, make the paper warp or the cover warp. And it would get dirty if you handle it a lot of times. I mean, just right now, I'm handling it so much already that the back of the actual notebook is already pretty dirty. Uh, so, so much more if I actually do bring it and use it outside. But since colored pencils, even though these are all oil-based, um, has a little bit more protection or wax to it than water, just plain watercolor, it might last longer. I won't know until I've tried using it for a year, how well it holds up, but you'll see. So what I'm doing now is that I'm adding gold paint onto the, the label part at the top. Uh, it felt plain. You know, I, I thought I'd just leave it just the craft paper color at first, but it felt really plain and it looked weird, especially since I do use the craft color, craft paper color as the sand. So I just added a little bit of gold to make it sparkle just a little bit, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And at first I regretted it until it dried. When it dried, it looked good. It looked hella good.
So we are in the PP now. I hope you enjoyed that. I do these kind of things every now and then. But mostly I do anime style art, I do fan art, I do original art, I do character designs. So if you enjoyed this video, or if you're interested in what I just mentioned, please do consider liking the video and or subscribing if you want to see more of stuff like that. And yeah, until then, I hope you guys are still staying safe. Right now, there's still a pandemic going on. There's a vaccine, but I'm uh, production that kind of thing. Anyway, stay safe. I will hope to see you again in the next video, whenever that is.